Hey lovelies, welcome back and welcome to the finally long awaited OnlyFans poses video. It took me the longest time to film this video, but Mark is finally not home so I can film this video for you guys. I'm gonna be showing you different parts of my home where I take pictures in. I do this all in the comfort of my own home. I don't take OnlyFans pictures anywhere else besides the comfort of my own home by myself. So if you guys are excited for this video, make sure you guys hit subscribe and hit the like button. That way I can keep doing more of these videos. If you guys, if this is the first video of mine that you're watching about OnlyFans, I do have a whole playlist. I will go ahead and link it down below. And just so you guys know, I also do makeup, fashion, vlogs, lifestyle videos as well. So if you guys don't always want to see this stuff, I have other content as well. So you guys might as well hit subscribe so you guys can see all of the fun that I add to this channel. I think it's fun. I don't know. It's fun for me. I don't know if it's fun for you. I hope it's fun for you. But anyways, let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so before we get into it, this is just what works in my home. I obviously always recommend going to the rooms that have the best lighting. Um, that would be my living room, um, a little bit of my bedroom, and in my makeup room. So those always give me the best lighting. Of course, if you guys, if you have a, a kitchen with good lighting, go to the kitchen, bathroom, whatever lighting. I always love to use natural lighting. Today, it would be brighter, but I have a lot of my blinds closed because I don't want like my neighbors and stuff watching me do this stuff it's kind of weird even though I don't think they can see me I still feel weird like doing this when they're out there I don't know I just feel weird and also for some of the clips I will be filming them horizontal or vertical so it just depends that way you can see the full picture but for this one I'm going to show you guys this way horizontal but some of them might be vertical so just in case you guys are wondering why the camera keeps switching I'm just trying to give you guys the best angles so I hope it works out I hope it looks okay but let's go ahead and start with the living room so living room is one of the places where I think I have the best lighting and I love doing my living room, especially my couch. I also have a little rug here on the floor, so I will show you guys all the different poses you can do, you can try. I try to wear something a little bit of like not so crazy, so I just have some little shorts and a smaller top so you guys can kind of see a little bit better what I'm trying to show you. Because I feel like if I wore sweatpants or like a baggy shirt, like you can't really see the poses. Um, so I think this is the best that I can do. That way I don't get demonetized for wearing like lingerie or something on the screen. So I think this is the best thing I can do. So of course, while you're doing these poses, you're gonna be wearing, you know, lingerie, you're gonna be nude, you're gonna be in heels, whatever you want. I do have content ideas, like a like a video about it. So if you guys wanna watch that, again, go ahead and watch that. But this is just the poses. So of course you're gonna be wearing whatever you're gonna be wearing. This is my couch right here. I have all my pillows. I don't typically always leave the pillows here, but I'm just gonna leave them here for now. But this is usually, I've done poses on my couch. So you can do like a full spread if you want to. But some of them that I do on here, I, I always, say show off what you feel more comfortable and what you think is your best asset I guess like I think my lower half is a lot more attractive than my top half because I don't have any boobs but I got a bigger thighs than like the rest of my body so like everything else you know is like whatever but I usually get on the couch this is a good one the the thing is you have to use your hips and really pop them out so that the booty can really like pop out if that makes sense so I like to kind of lean against the couch and kind of stick the butt up in the air. God, the lighting sucks in here. But this is pretty much what I like to do. This is a good pose. You guys can go like this, or you can raise your arm up like this if you try to show more of this area. I don't really have any, so typically I just kind of cover it with my arm, or I'll put my arm like this and just kind of show a little sneak peek of it. And make sure you really like arch the back so that you really get that full effect that you got the big booty. Even though my butt's not the biggest, I pretend that it is, and this is how I do it. Yeah, so that's a really good pose to start off with. You can do that typically anywhere. You can even do it on a chair if you want to, by your bed, on a wall. Sometimes I put my hand against the wall and do that pose. I love that one. That one is a great one, and it just really accentuates because it kind of hides my tummy, but it shows off the goods at the same time. So this is why I love the couch, because I feel like if you have a couch that you have more room to work with, you have more of a stage to play with, is what I always say. But that, that's like one of my favorite poses to do. But I also love um, this kind of a thing where you can kind of, um, can kind of, kind of go like this as well and kind of show like the side of your body. That way, you know, you're kind of showing off what you like and what you don't. So I like to hide my tummy a lot. So I kind of just put my arm here. Again, really stick your butt up. And you can even lean against the couch like this if you want to. Or you can raise your leg upwards and kind of, play with it a little bit, kind of do that thing. You can spread your legs more. You can even lean back and like pull a leg up if you want to. Sometimes I've done that too and I really feel comfortable in those. Or you can even do like a full on um, body shot of either nude or in lingerie. You can kind of, you know, just play with it. Do this, pop your leg up, whatever you feel more comfortable doing. 
but I always like to do this kind of a thing where I'm kind of leaning and then kind of lifting my body up, if that makes sense. This next one I have really enjoyed doing for like nudes or, you know, really showing stuff off. But you can always, I have a tripod, so if you guys don't have like a standing tripod, I definitely recommend it because that's what I have. Mine goes up like two, three levels and I got it from Walmart and it also comes with a ring light. So I got mine from Walmart for like 20 something dollars. They're usually in the electronic section. They have like a little section that has like tripods, mics and all that stuff. So if you guys haven't gone to Walmart for that, make sure you guys check it out. That way you guys can get like all these different angles, which is why I freaking love this tripod because you can move it around. But now you're up a little bit higher, you can also do this kind of a thing where you can kind of lay back and just have your leg spread, have a leg up here if you want to, kind of do that kind of a thing. Um, you can also turn around and lay flat and have your backside really show in the photo or video if you wanted to. Like you can even do like a little twerky video like if you wanted to, just kind of that kind of a thing. But this is a great angle, if that makes sense. Like this is the couch and the camera's right there. So this is a great angle. I absolutely love this one. This one's, oh, this one's also good right here. But yeah, this one's a great one. You can even do something like this if you wanted to kind of like lift, do something. I don't know, something like that. It just kind of comes, you know, you just have to be comfortable. And once you're comfortable with yourself, with your body, with what you're doing, then you, the thing, the, the poses and like everything just comes naturally. So it's, it's just pretty easy to me, I guess, because it's, it's, you just got to feel comfortable. But like these angles really help. Like this is a good one. Or if you want to just... You know, like I said, if you want to lay on your tummy or you want to lay back and, you know, do the thing, then you can do that. And I've done that a lot and I have a few pictures like that and I freaking love them. Or you can, you know, hold these babies up yourself and do it yourself. I'm trying my best not to be very descriptive because I don't want to be demonetized for this. So I'm literally trying to, like, you know, if you guys understand what I'm saying, thank you. So I hope I'm being as descriptive as possible. But this is a really great one. It's definitely putting the angle of the camera upwards a little bit. Or if you wanted to bring it a little bit closer and have a little bit more upward, if you're a little bit larger here, that would be a good one too. Just kind of, you know, showing it off. You kind of like this, you know, something. But that's pretty much what works for me. And I think this is a great angle in the living room. All right. I hope you got the gist of it in the living room. Now, this is my bedroom. And I have taken a lot of photos in here, especially on the floor. But I've taken a lot on my bed as well. I've taken actually you know, full on no clothes kind of photos here where I will lay back and kind of pop these up. You know, I did a lot of that. I always recommend either changing like the color of your sheets or just having plain white sheets, kind of giving it like a hotel vibe. I've done that before in a lot of my photos and I feel like it's more clean. That way the color of like your lingerie or anything else doesn't like clash with your sheets. But I change mine quite often, like, like the colors. And I also love just plain white sheets just to give it like a more hotel vibe. Let's ignore the water bottles for my husband. He's just... Just ignore that. But I love doing photos and stuff on the floor. I have this really pretty rug right here that I think looks really, really pretty in photos. I'm gonna back you guys up a little bit so you can see a little bit better. So I absolutely love this rug. I love playing on this rug. Like you can really add a little something with the rug. I don't know, I just really like it. But you can do like, I'm probably doing one right now where you can kind of do this kind of a thing, this kind of a thing, this kind of a thing, this thing. Like, I'm just giving them to you all right now. <laughs> like, I'm just posing as I'm doing this video. But another great one you can also do is, like, kind of back up right here. Kind of do that thing, if you know what I'm saying. I can't really sound out loud, but if you get me, then yes, you can do that. You can go in on the bed like this and done that. And that's a really good one. Or you could do, like, kind of, like, you kind of like move your body around as this is, like, that. God, I'm so bad at this. I hope I'm doing a good job. I hope you guys are getting the gist of what I'm saying. But yeah, you could do that kind of a thing. Or you can even do what we did in the living room and kind of, you know, do this thing. Or you can lift the leg up and make sure that you really use your hip and your back and really like, because this is me just standing here. That's not very attractive. That's why I bend forward and then bend back. If that makes sense. Forward and then back. And then really lift the hip. This will really give it that, you know, that look. Another thing that I definitely recommend doing, if you are, you know, want to spice up your pictures or anything like that, or even spice up your love life a little bit, it's such a game changer with my photos. Like, I don't use it with every photo, but I love to use it, you know, just to spice up my photos a little bit, especially if I'm wearing, like, a little bit, like, darker colors. I love to use this purple light. I use it, you know, to set the mood with my husband as well. I freaking love colored lights. I definitely recommend purple or red. Um, I only have purple. 
um, because I guess apparently purple is the one that's the color for, for that kind of stuff. But um, I definitely recommend colored ones, but I love the purple. I think it just adds a little bit of something to the pictures. Again, when I'm wearing black, it looks really good. It just adds a little bit of pop to your photo. So definitely recommend that. You could do any kind of poses. You could do, um, I would always recommend facing the light bulb so that you get all the light towards you instead of you going this way because obviously the light, it's not going to look the same. You see how it looks kind of different? You want the light facing you, that way you have the light behind you. You could do all kinds of stuff. You can do what I'm doing now. You could do that kind of photo where you're from the side, press this against the wall, bend back, kind of do this kind of a thing. This is also a good one if you have larger, you know, that'll be a good photo. Or if you can put the booty here, you can even turn around and do this kind of a thing. Again, always putting your hip first and leaning forward. That's always my trick. But I freaking love the light. I love how it's like spices up my photos and my videos and stuff. I think this is a great investment. I get mine at Lowe's, but I think you could just get any light bulbs anywhere. But I love this one. And now we made it to my makeup room. So now the camera is kind of vertical. So I apologize if it bothers you guys. But we are now in my makeup room. And I think I have the best lighting in here. I have like the best natural lighting, which is what I always recommend. But I always also use my ring light light. I forgot to tell you guys. I do use it in my bedroom where it's a little bit darker just to brighten it up a little bit. And I think it's, you know, you could see a little bit better. So that's what I use it for. This is where I'm going to show you guys like my basic pose. Like I do this pose for like almost every single like photo, but I love the way that I look in it. So, and I do it a lot for my Instagram photos too, but I like to just kind of um, stand on one leg. So I always stand on this leg and I always put this leg forward a little bit. So let me lift up my shirt a little bit so you guys can see. But this is the hip I'm gonna pop and this one is just one that I'm gonna lean on. So if you just kind of put this like straight and kind of bend your hip back, I don't know if you guys saw that, but like my hip kind of like went back and then pop this leg forward and just lean a little bit. This is the one that I do all the time. So if you guys can see, I'm standing straight here, then here. I'll let me lower you guys a little bit. I wanna say this is like my signature pose to be honest, but I'm standing straight, but now I'm just going to put one leg forward, the one that I'm gonna lean on. This one is gonna stay straight. I'm just gonna pop my hip a little bit, pop it here, leg, and I pretty much just kind of do this where I put this hand here and kind of do this thing. And then this one, I have a hip dip, so this one always covers my hip dip, so I can always go like this, 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 but I always just make sure I feel that hip kind of pop all the time and I feel my weight leaning on my hip. Like I can feel it right here. That way you can actually see that it's like a little bit more curvy. And then this side is like covering my hip dip. If you guys have hips, you guys don't have to worry about that problem, but I have hip dips. I don't have a voluptuous whatever, so. Usually angles like this help me a lot and help me look and feel a little bit better about my hip dips, but this is a good one. And then also, of course, you can turn around and do, again, where you kind of lean and then pop this a little bit back, pop the hip, you can do this kind of a thing. Love doing this pose because I feel like it's like, this is like my signature pose. This is literally the pose I do for all my photos. You can literally do anything with your hands if you want to. You can even raise them up like this if you want to. You can go like this, you can do this, this, this this, this, like you can do whatever you want with your hands. Just make sure that this leg is going forward, your hip is going back, and then kind of push up, if that makes sense. And I do this pose all the time. I freaking love it. You can also do poses on chairs. I'm just gonna use my makeup chair as an example. Well, I do use this chair a lot, but you can use this as well for like a pose. Like you can put your leg on it. You can, again, lean forward and lift this up, lean forward, lean more forward, you know, that kind of a thing. You can do that. You can even do a full back. You can do this. You can even sit on the chair if you're flexible. Oh my God, if you are flexible, bitch, like, I would, I would pay for that. Like, that's really cool. If you're flexible, you can even lean back and do this kind of a thing, that kind of a thing. You can do a lot with a chair. So if you have a chair at home, just use a chair. Don't underestimate the chair. Don't underestimate the board. Don't underestimate the couch. Literally, your home is your stage and do whatever the fuck you want with it. Go in your bathroom, go in your living room, get a chair, do all that good stuff. I mean, it's there. Why not use it, right? So yeah, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope these were great ideas, great poses. I hope I made sense throughout the video because I always feel like I never make sense when I'm filming, especially when it's like a lot of talking. 
I feel like I never make sense, but I hope it made sense in a way where you guys understood what I was trying to say without me actually saying so much, because like I said, I don't want to get demonetized, but I hope that helped. If you guys want me to do a round two, I can try my best to think of other ways that you can take photos and the poses and stuff like that. So let me know if you guys want a part two, but yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. I hope this was helpful to you, and I just wanted to wish you all luck on your journey on doing this kind of stuff. I know it's very scary. I know that's very, you know hush hush kind of thing but again if you are going to do it and you're comfortable doing it go for it and i hope my videos have helped you guys out a lot but yeah i think that's everything from me let me know what you guys want to see next i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys on the next video bye